Hello and welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to discuss testing the Kafka filter listener. In my last video, we discussed what is Kafka filter listener. Very quick recap. So let's say producer produces an event to a topic and the consumer listening to that topic, listening only to specific events and not to all the events based on certain filter strategy that, that we are saying is filtered listening. So this particular consumer here, consumer zero is listening to only new M and pre event. And similarly, consumer group two listening to cancel and pre event. So today we are going to test, let's say consumer zero, which is only going to listen to new M event and not the other events. So what we want to test, if there is a new event on the topic that will be consumed and if there is other any other event than new m that should not be consumed by this particular consumer so that is what we are trying to test today and what we are going to use to test it we are going to use embedded kafka provided by spring kafka test to test this why we want to use embedded kafka because it's it provides very lightweight container like in memory kind of database for us or kafka setup for us where we don't have to be dependent on the external running Kafka cluster rather than we are going to have our own Kafka cluster running as a in memory, let's say. So today's test case from the last video, we have a record filter strategy and we want to test that record header filter strategy for these two test cases. So let's directly dive into the code and try to see. So I already have a running setup and this is already the same project that I have described in the last video. I'll share the link of that video if you have not watched that. First, maybe you want to watch that before actually testing that particular use case. So here is the dependency that is required, which is already present, Spring Kafka test. And from the this particular dependency, we are going to use embedded Kafka to test our scenario. So very short recap, here is the Kafka filter listener, which is actually using a custom filtered factory this particular filtered factory is defined in our Kafka config where we are actually saying that this record filter strategy should be used to filter or consume the record. And this particular filter strategy is saying if the specific type of header, which is event type is present and if it matches the header value and this header value we are defining in the property file. So in last example, we are saying, okay, this particular consumer should consume this event. So for our test scenario, we are saying only one consumer and we are defining our test properties. We are saying only if new M event is coming, it should be consumed and other event should be discarded or should not be consumed by this particular consumer. So to do that, what we are doing is the basic setup of Spring Boot test. The important part here is we are describing uh, that particular Kafka bootstrap server and using the embedded Kafka broker. So this is already automatically will be provided by embedded Kafka as we have this embedded Kafka. And as soon as uh, this particular Kafka uh, broker is available, we will be having the server port automatically available for us. Now, what are we saying? We are saying our uh, profile active is test so it will automatically use this test properties and that is contest is nothing but like if we have anything or any uh, data can changed it will be uh, reverted back to the original state so that's where that is context in our present scenario we don't need to use it but it's good to have now what are we saying so we are going to simply publish a message using Kafka template and then we are going to see if that particular message is being consumed or not. If it is successfully consumed, we'll add it to record, which is a blocking queue. And we will observe that, okay, if this record has a, a new record added or not. So this blocking queue has another record added or not. So this is very basic setup. In before each test, we are saying, okay, this is a new blocking queue, link blocking DQ. And what we are specifying the other, other simple stuff is that, okay, this template is for producing to the Kafka topic. And this particular topic, we are taking again the values from property file. 
So let's go back to property files and see what we have here. So very important, we don't have this bootstrap server, which is which was available in other properties while we were developing and doing the, the last video. This has now been commented out as it will be provided by embedded Kafka. Similarly, we have a Kafka topic where the, this particular messages will be published and then we have a consumer group ID which will be used and the same serialization and deserialization logic. So it's like mostly the copy paste of the previous property files. Again, going back to the code. So after the message is published, what we are saying is we are saying to have a listener container. So message listener container will be actually very important as we are saying this particular container we are starting and we are monitoring it if there is a message or not. Now let's see the specific properties. The important ones are here. So we are saying the container properties. Okay, listen to the particular topic, this topic we saw and we are seeing message listener. We are setting up a message listener. So message listener is nothing but S whenever there is a new message, we actually call the message listener on message method. So this is the Lambda implementation for a new uh, message listener. And this is the implementation for the on message method. So we are saying on any message arrival, first check if that particular filter strategy is passing. If it is getting filtered out, do not add to the record. If it is actually not filtered out, then add it to the records. And this is the record we are going to actually have in our test cases. And this record filter strategy, as you might have understood, this is the same record filter strategy that we have defined and we have auto wired it here. So again, moving forward, we are saying, okay, this Kafka message listener container should have this container properties that we are defining. And then we are starting the container. And then we have a very important class container test util class. This is also a helper class provided by Spring for testing. So we are saying wait for the assignment. So this particular container will wait before it starts or before move forward till the time it does not have the uh, required partition and we are specifying in our case the partitions number at the top. So at the rate uh, embedded Kafka is having two partitions. So it will wait till the two partitions are not assigned to the particular container. After each test, we are saying destroy the destroy or stop. Uh, so let's say we'll use stop. It's the same thing. Uh, so stop the container. So our first test case is we are publishing a new event. We are creating a new event. We are using Kafka template and sending this event to the topic. And expectation is that we should have this particular event being filtered, I mean consumed and not filtered. And we, we should see the particular record being available and the name and the header should match with the our published message. This is our first use case, which is a positive scenario. Now, not positive, negative, but this is what the targeted event that this particular consumer should be consuming. Now the second test case is we have a different event from the interested event. Our interested event is specified here and now we have a event that is not of our interest. So we are receiving an event of type cancel and this particular event should not be consumed. This should be filtered out. And while publishing the event, we are setting the headers. Very important. I forgot to mention it here also. We are setting the headers. Based on this header, the header filter strategy will come into the picture. Let's quickly go back to the record header filter strategy code once again. We are saying again that, okay, this particular event type header should be present and the header type value should be matched from the application dot properties that we have specified. So quickly going back here in the get headers, we are actually specifying that particular event type header and its value will be from the record that we are publishing from the DTO event type. So here, if you see this get headers for new M, we are publishing message dot event type, which is nothing but this particular new M and here it will be message dot get event type. So it will be canceled. Let's 
maybe run one test case at a time first so or maybe let me debug this particular test case that may be useful so i'll go quickly to record filter strategy till the time it starts debugging we'll see okay the expectation is when it will go here when it will go here and maybe kafka filter listener okay so let it debug so the idea is we are running our first test case which is the interested event of type new m and we are running it in debug mode so uh, it first should publish the event to the topic and once it's published we are our particular record header filter strategy should allow it to be consumed and it should be added to the blocking queue so let's go to deeper point here if you see our consumer record that we are actually publishing so this is our value new m message and we have the header value available as new m and this also event type this is also specified in the property file so it's actually not filtered out so it's returning false not filtering so this is actually going now to listener and it is message being consumed and the test case should successfully pass so this is the positive test case uh, or the interested test case for our event now let's quickly debug the second test case and see the behavior so as you might have noticed this particular record filter strategy okay maybe like let me ping or let me add another deeper point here so because it will the header will be present but it will be not of this particular event type so it will instead of going to this particular block it will go written from here so this is what the actual expected behavior for the test case is if it goes via this path the test case should ideally pass so we have here okay maybe let's go to one debug point at a time okay now we have the header value we know this particular header value is cancelled and the event types here is this new m so this is going to go to out of it and it will return and now we don't have another header so we are saying filter true basically filter this event and should not consume that event so it will not go to the filtered listener as we saw last time that it went here to the filtered listener but this time it didn't go to the filtered listener and we saw that we don't have a message in this particular test case also pass so quickly run this whole test scenario so this is we can how do integration testing with kafka without actually depending on the external service we are running our own embedded kafka broker and we are actually publishing the message and seeing if the particular message is being consumed as per our defined filter strategy or not so it's pretty simple and you will have your own control over your system rather than being dependent on any other kafka cluster i hope you like this video and it might help you i'll have this uh, particular updated code available in github and i'll share the link in the description have a nice day bye see you in the next video